Okay. Well, I guess we gotta talk to everybody now. Let's talk to Pico. <laughs> I can already tell you doubt me, correct? Huh? Hmm. However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Yakuya was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker's in this office, so naturally I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait! Supposed to be here? Does that mean? I see. <clears throat> I was right. You weren't in the office. But why? Were you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the Dur Duralumin case with all the weapons in it? Huh? Where'd you run off to on your own? Yeah. Well, that is, uh... Ugh. He goes suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? No, I'm just not feeling well. I apologize, but excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me, what was that? Hey. Pico, it appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so... I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? Shh, it seems like it will be a tough path. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pico wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pico as it is. What does that mean? Huh? I mean, is it cool? She didn't, like, run away or something. That's right. Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Is that really what it is? Either that or she had the shits, right? She ate something in the, in the banquet hall and made her have to use the bathroom real bad. <laughs> okay. She had to take a ride down the Hershey Highway. <laughs> the remote control is for the office's air conditioner, huh? The timer here is set to 11.30 p.m. Wasn't the timer on the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? It can't be a coincidence, right? Huh. Okay. The Disduralumin case. It should contain all the dangerous items Yakuya collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside just to be safe, but it's locked. Yep. Yakuya had the key to this particular Duralumin case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take that key without permission? Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside the case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. This guy doesn't feel any remorse. See? See, it's open. Folks, kitchen knives. Uh, oh, folks. Forks, excuse me. Kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are all crammed inside. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here, because the key to the case was inside the case before you had with it. I guess you're right about that. Okay. By the way, look what I found. A kid in Monokuma. I've been found. I found one of the kid in Monokuma. It's very nice. Okay. What about Kazuichi Soda? Maybe. Isn't Pico the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Yakuya after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but... When I got here, she was gone. Well... I shouldn't say this too loudly or else Miss Sonya will yell at me. Pico's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Gakuya. Hey. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. Kazuichi's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Now then. Now then, I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. All right. I guess we're done in here. We're getting lots of evidence here. <clears throat> so that's the office. Nothing of interest over here. It doesn't look like it. Alright, they won't let me leave the building yet. I was wondering if there's evidence like on the outside, but... What's this? Fire hydrant? Or fire hydrant. Boy, I'm stupid. A fire extinguisher. Yes, a fire hydrant in the wall, of course. I think we're almost done. What's wait a minute? What's this room? The kitchen. Oh, I didn't go back in the kitchen yet. Okay. Okay. Um. Yakuya hmm. must have confiscated all the dangerous items on the kitchen's equipment list. Well, just from reading through this list, it looks like the knife next to Yakuya's body didn't come from the kitchen. Oh. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how'd the killer get past Yakuya's body check? 
That's weird. Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat-downs. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Huh. Hey. <clears throat> Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing and even a portable stove for hot pots. Well, all this stuff doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. See, the thing is, we already know the knife was in here already. It was already taped under the table. That's why there was that tape, so... We kind of already figured that part out. Hey, you were in the kitchen during the blackout? Ugh. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> I felt like I was going to sneeze, and it turned into a yawn. That was weird. Uh, all right, you were in the kitchen during the blackout, Teru Teru. Uh. <laughs> that blackout totally startled me. At first, I thought it was just the kitchen. When I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black, too. And then I heard everyone's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. But that place was pitch black, too, and it was, like, pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. Oh, that's impossible. This gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. Wait a minute. No, it doesn't. That's, unless it's in Japan, it's different. Gas stoves can operate without electricity. I know this for a fact, because my parents had one. For the longest time, when I was, you know, a kid growing up, they always had a gas stove. When the power went out, they would light the gas on the stove to make a fire, to make things like tea, or even warm up a soup, or whatever. So, that is, this is false, unless there is a kind of gas stove that needs electricity, but I'm not aware of that. I've never seen one before. But I guess we need to suspend our disbelief for the game. He's claiming it needs electricity. Okay. <clears throat> I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but I guess that's not that easy. All right. Teru Teru. Well, I, boy, I can't say this guy's name. Teru Teru's account has been added to the truth bullets. All right. Huh. All right, anything else? Uh, the light? Chinese, Japanese, French, Italian cuisine? Nah, I didn't do anything with that. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that meat is so big, even I was shocked. Yeah. It's a dish fit for a tropical it. island. I'd never be able to get meat like this in Ayo Aoyama or Azabu. I'd never be able to get meat like this in my hometown, much less Aoyama or Azabu. I get it, you don't have to repeat yourself, but it's so big, where did you get it? <laughs> I asked Nikamaru. Apparently he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. His bare hands? <laughs> That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. Mm -hmm. Seriously, Nikamaru's so wild. He's totally right at, at he's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is near Ayazawa or Ayayama and Izabu, so wild country things like that, they slip my mind a lot, you know? Man. Well, I guess this meat has gone to waste. Since the awfulness happened right when the party started, the only ones who ate any food were Akane and Pigo, who took some portions for herself. Oh. And they both had to shit, remember? Hey. Yeah. Don't say that. After I worked so hard to, to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. To tell you the truth. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but if there really is a killer out there, I'll probably never be able to forgive the killer. He's scary when he's mad. All right, party dishes was added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Damn, this guy made everything. Look, he even made, uh... If you look there, it looks like an Italian-style pasta dish in the back upper left. There's a big salad to the upper right. And then right in the middle, a gigantic sushi platter. Some kind of, uh, you know, chicken or pork or turkey. Not pork. Chicken or turkey or something in the front. In the back left there, I think there's some kind of crustacean. I can't really tell, though. So, yeah, he made a ton. He made a wide variety of food. All right, we finished investigating the kitchen. You're right. Okay. Wah, 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 yep. wah. Looks like you're pretty much finished looking around the old hey. building. How about we check out Byakuya's cottage? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be good to check it out in just in case. But well, I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be that danger? Hey. You mean I'm, I'm worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living without, without in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. 
As I thought, you sure are strong. You're definitely the chosen one, chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. All right. All right, then let's get going to Byakuya's Cottage. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. Huh. The moment I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. The hell is hey, this? What are you doing? What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? Oh, that's right. He dropped his earring. That's right. If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. So I thought it was important to check it. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never even considered uh, thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Bikuri's body, right? Hmm. And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then is it possible the killer killed Bikuri by stabbing him from underneath the floor? Oh, shit. Maybe. Maybe he was killed from under the floor, but... That doesn't explain the bloody knife that was taped under the table. Oh, this is very convoluted. Yep. <clears throat> That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well, mm -hmm. I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. But... Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Well... No, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, since you can't get under the floor from outside the building, that's a relief. Relief? Why? <laughs> because if you can get under the floor from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. Oh, right. Fuyuhiko. So... I suspected him, too. That's why I'm checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well... Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. He did? <laughs> Huh? What happened for you, Hiko? Huh? Hey, what are you doing here, all alone at a place like this? Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. How diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no, not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid, they made me want to puke. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of yeah. course not, I was just going for a damn walk. What, do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... <laughs> then I leave me alone. Hmm. And then he just left. That's So that happened, but why did he come here? <clears throat> See? He probably wants to be part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else, and that's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Oh, when do we start talking about video games? All right. Chiaki's account has been added to the Truth Bullet section. I see. Even though we don't know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt I'm glad. it. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. <laughs> well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Byakuya's cottage. <laughs> as long as his probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I've not unleashed even half of my power yet. I'll almost assuredly reclaim the Hellhound earring with my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigating. All right. 